Good luck. All right. Um, yeah, this should be interesting, shouldn't it? Okay, we're going to play fourth file rook. Attempt to make some sense of the stuff that I attempted to watch earlier. Um, so Shogi Harbor had done some analysis of fourth file rook Joseki. Um, and it more or less left off that, you know, some of the stuff that you could play is pretty complicated. So I'm still wondering here, like normally I do play my bishop forward in response or to somehow deal with this pawn advancement threat of the static rook. Um, but we might see an irregular move order where I might not push the bishop up immediately, although I really want to. So this might exploit an oddity in my move order, where maybe they can break on the seventh file instead. But I'm considering playing my rook to that file. Um, Okay, so, yeah, I've seen more and more of that castle, like, recently. Um, I admit I am still somewhat confused as to the timing of my castle versus the timing of if they play um, some sort of a attack. Um, do I oppose rooks? Do I um, play my rook to the seventh file, try to break that open instead? Like Some of this is pretty unclear to me. I think I need at least this much of a castle to be okay, but, um, but yeah, now I face a crucial point of do I push in such a way that would make a bishop exchange uh, painful. Oh, 
maybe I don't concern myself so much with that anymore. Um, or maybe I do. Maybe I'm going to deliberately avoid a bishop exchange. So much to deliberate. Um, Hmm. I'm not sure how to move order my way out of this. Let's try the simple dumb idea here, which seems pretty crazy, but maybe justified here. He hasn't committed one way or the other to the seventh or the eighth file. So if I do this, I can create some targets that I can aim at. And, but the downside of this is kind of obvious. That I'm giving him the initiative. But he's got to make something of it.
that surprises me. Like, I gave him the initiative. I gave him a wide variety of things he could do here. And he picked that one. Okay. Huh. That's not what I expected. I think we both just got very confused. Um, I mean, yes, it's wonderful for him that his silver controls this 5-5 five five square. Um, I just don't see... I mean, yeah, they could drop the bishop and take these pawns. Um, I didn't understand how this could be useful. I had hoped that if this were a white pawn, or rather if this were my opponent's pawn on 6-5, that would at least give my knight and my silver and maybe even my rook an obvious target to start attacking. Um, but I don't have that opportunity here, do I? I my rook needs an open file, and so opening this fourth file is the fastest way to give my rook somewhere to go. Um, Yeah, I don't know that their rook is going to break through on the fourth file, because I could just push the second file pawn now. Okay, so I did have a plan for this. I'm not claiming it was a great plan. Um, because that would be a false claim. But, uh, hmm. My plan was to put the knight, or the bishop on 3-3. Three, three. 
And if they exchange, I get my knight there. And then I could break on the second foul, but this is risky, obviously. Um, but this was my idea. The risk is that this is just he's gonna fork my knight and pawn and like things get complicated pretty quickly um, right so here I was split between is my rook going to defend the knight or am I going to really advance my silver and create a mess I don't think I can do that right now um, So yeah, this is awkward. This is awkward. So now if they take this pawn on the fourth file, they're threatening to drop it right on the head of my silver. And it'd be protected both by the rook and the bishop. So yeah, they control this square. I'm expecting that somehow I have counterplay on other files, but their play is pretty strong. Um, I can't exactly vacate the fourth file. So if rook takes, I don't expect that pawn drop here is great. I would think silver takes knight, and then they could take my lance. It would not be very good for me. Oh, hang on. If the rook takes the pawn, I have a bishop drop. Huh. That changes things, doesn't it? That's why this pawn is still on the board. I see. This seems slow. Um, saving the lance doesn't seem very high priority, even as I plan to open lines. Like, hmm. Yeah, no, I want to start promoting right away. And the fastest road to promotion is that where I give up my lance. So I guess that's my idea. So I want speed. I want to attack. I'm also forgetting that my knight is super loose here. It's not just his knight that's exposed. <laughs> Mine is facing some challenges here too. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. Well, time for the end game to begin. We all start attacking. I fired the first shot here, but I think I'm okay. Um.
I'm forgetting that a lance drop um, would prevent me from pushing this pawn further. Oops. Um, and would also strengthen his silver, which is kind of orphaned at the moment. But on the other hand, a lance drop, I could rook drop to trap his horse or something. This could be weird. Um, so maybe it's fine. It would be nice to rook drop and win this gold. Just have to make sure there's not some trick where I rook drop and somehow they bishop drop and like they are saving everything and I'm trapped. Because that would be awkward. But yeah, I think I think I'm not giving away my rook for free. Uh, possibly this knight drop working. The rook and gold could be awkward. I don't know. Shogi's hard, in case that's not obvious. Actually, if they knight drop here, I can rook drop to trap this horse. So yeah, if they do, uh, they could lance drop back here without trapping their horse. That could be interesting. Um, Cause I don't think I want to take that. But yeah, here, um, maybe I want the horse. Maybe I want the horse more than I want a dragon. I don't know. Do I have to choose? I'm pretty sure I have to choose. <laughs> yeah, if I move my rook to the fourth file, um, they promote the lance. Uh, that's tricky. Let's try to resist. Okay. Um, I th well, I missed that they have some plans here. Um, they can block my rook trying to win the horse. They can put a piece in the way. What could they put in the way? I guess only a bishop. But it's still legal to place that there, so yeah. So instead, um, I should just prefer to win a general or a lance. Or maybe I could pawn drop and promote it right there. Interesting. There's always more than one thing to think about.
there's always more than one thing to consider. I think we both missed his bishop drop threat here, which would have been complicated a turn ago. It's less complicated right now. Okay. Um, possibly other things are missed too. But yeah, that's a silver for a pawn. I'll take a silver for a pawn. Um, Edge foul pawn tactics are complicated. Okay, my rook needs a license to live. So I'll give my rook an open file. <laughs> Okay, my rook still wants freedom. So this is another way to free my rook. So this allows me to place where he just vacated.
30秒I think I'm moving quickly because I'm pretty anxious about this. Uh, it's not every day you see this sort of thing. Okay, that's aggressive. That is super aggressive for him to do that with the king. Um, all right, uh, good game. I don't fully claim to understand what happened this game, but um, that was something. Okay, my opponent has left. That's fine. Um, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Um, even in this final position, I'm s well. Okay, well, I guess I should know that eventually I'm gonna find this, um, and this is fine for me. So if they, like, run away, I mean, certainly I have to be fine, right? I don't know. I should survive their attack long enough for me to start an attack of my own. <laughs> uh, or for rather, my attack needs to be successful now. But I think it can be. Oh, that's tense. Um... So yeah, I had consistent ideas throughout the game. This horse never made it back into the game. They did a kind of light castle, and somehow I prevailed on this edge file tactic, perhaps faster for them. Might have been knight takes here directly. I don't know. Well, even if they do this, like, are they going to promote or not? I think they promote, so this actually isn't any faster. Um, yeah, I'm confused. Like, if they had another metal piece in hand, this would be a different matter, but they don't. This lance drop, I guess, was just very unfortunate. I, I'm not sure. I have to run this through an engine to see why my attack prevailed faster. Um, I do like that, uh... Fork I found here, but um, oh, I'm sorry, my pawn covers the square. Okay, but still, I missed this idea, but it doesn't actually work, does it? Because yeah, so interesting. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't fully get what happened this game. I hate to cut short the post-game analysis, but there is another Shogi stream I do want to observe at this time. So, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.